Hey guys, it's Cook3 and welcome to part 20... Is it 20? Somewhere in the 20s. Oh, well, let's play Golden Sun! Uh, in the last part, we got to the top of Mercury Lighthouse and we beat Saturos' ass at... Well... Anything. Uh, we also found out that uh, Mia's brother Alex had turned to the dark side. And so, you know, things are going a bit badly there. Uh, not growth. I, I wanted to use heal. Because, you know, some people are kind of dying. It's ply, I guess. Uh, cool. Uh, and with that in mind, I think we should be good just to head on and find them. Now, I'm sorry I didn't upload uh, anything for the last few days. Uh, I was just too busy um, to record anything on Monday. And then yesterday, I was helping a flatmate who was feeling ill. Um, so, yes, I'll be uploading two parts of Golden Sun today, though, and two parts of Columbound tomorrow. So that should be well. And then, fingers crossed, I'll have made Rhythm Paradise by Friday. And everything will be good. But in any case, we have now got a way back to the... No, we don't have a way back to the top of the lighthouse. I was wrong. I was wrong! But, you know, you'd, you'd think they'd give us that and just, you know... But in any case, people are looking at the lighthouse. What do you say, madam? Our fountain is back. They say these waters can heal all that lives. Well, that's good. Legend said that if the lighthouse was lit, the fountain would fill again. It looks like the legends were true. So it's probably an alright thing that the lighthouse got lit then, I guess. I drank the healing water and now I feel great. I should get a bottle so I can take some home with me. It's a good thing we have a bottle so we can take some to the people of, um... Whatchamacallit. It's been so long that I can't remember. Uh, empty bottle. Grand. We got Hermes' water. Is that something we can use as well? Like a healing item or is that a quest item only? Oh cool, so we can also use that. Ooh, interesting, interesting. I mean, I'm gonna go use it on those guys, but still. We don't have to fear any epidemic as long as we have our fountain. Well, hurrah. But we need to go and give this water to Tret, don't we? Okay, yeah, I totally didn't need to do anything in town at all. You know, didn't just waste everyone's time. Actually, come to think of it, I should've healed. What do you think, David? Should you go back and heal? That looks like a no to me. <laughs> right, um... So... Uh, come to think of it, I think we all kind of know where I'm... Actually, yeah. Do I need to go and talk to anyone in town? Uh, in email? I don't think we do. Crap, I've forgotten everything I'm meant to be doing. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and talk to Tread. Billabin Cave. Is there actually anything we can do here? I think move you along. I get the feeling we should be able to move you. No. Are you sure? You look very movable to me. Can we not do anything with any of these? It seems like silly not to be able to do anything. Can I grow this fire? No. I think I already tried that. <laughs> right, um... This cave is mysterious. Yeah, because I get the feeling I should be able to do more than I actually seem to be able to do. I don't know. That's the problem with Let's Playing Things Blind, because you don't know when you're meant to be able to make progress, and where, and how, and which. Okay, is there anything I can do up here? There's totally a treasure chest, but I can't seem to get to it. Alright, I hope I can do that later, but if not, then people will be screaming at me right now, going, No, you fool, you just need to go to the left, and then obviously you could do stuff. I swear I've been up there already, haven't I? Well, it's been too long, so I don't know what's up here, if anything. Let's find out, shall we? Right, so, we can hop across here. But that doesn't really seem to do us any good. Like, at all. Aha! You don't fool me quite. You got very close, but not entirely. Check the chest, and an elven rapier, you say. Interesting. Who would want this, I wonder? Uh, elven rapier. It's Vorpal Slash. Oop. Give it to. Okay. Mm hmm. He would go up by 30. He would go up by. No, just 5. You'd go up by quite a lot. But... Actually, no. I think Ivan wants other stuff, because... Yeah. Okay. 
You can equip yourself. Maybe you can't. Yeah, give it to David. Oh, he needs to take items out. You can take this antidote then. Cool. Um, so does the Elven Rapier do similar stuff to the... Oh yeah, Vorpal Slash, that's the one. Um, should I give maybe the other thing to Garrett? It'll put his attack down, but he'll be able to do Bandit Slash thing. Hmm. If uh, it puts down by 30, I think not. Okay, I'm, I think I'm good with our current equipment. I get the feeling we should be able to blow something up here. Uh, nope, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, whoops. I don't have like any bombs or anything, do I? Smoke bomb, but that's not quite the same thing. Uh, um, yeah, I'm just wasting everyone's time here, so I'm just gonna go ahead <laughs> and find Tret. Um, I have to say, I absolutely love the music for this forest. It's just so peaceful. <laughs> Except for now! Freaking troll, you had to ruin everything, didn't you? Man, that attack is so cool! Anyway, what do you want to say? Leave now before this forest is destroyed. Yeah, you told me that already. But I want to read your mind! You know what is the word? Your eyes have to Tret. Yeah, okay, that's cool. We've got that. You, Tret. Come back to life. Uh, let's use this. I feel a great power spreading through me. Mm, life flows within me once again. Tret! As you have recovered, so has our forest. I am sorry to have worried you so, Laurel. And you, young ones, didn't you have a favor to ask of me? Oh yeah, we did. Turn everyone back to normal. Yes, Tret. You must turn the people of Kalima into humans again. Yes, that's right. I must hurry! Please do. I should do it. The people of Kalima are no longer cursed. Or cursed no more. Or whatever I said. Tret did not always possess this horrible power. It only started when those strange gemstones fell from the sky. Is it just me? Is the music way too intense for this? It sounds like... The sort of fight you have just before a battle with an enormous enemy or something. Gems from the sky? Do you think he means the Synergy Stones? Possibly. You really think Synergy Stones cause all this trouble? I was indeed angry that people had laid waste to my forest. They'd even taken their axes to me. Then those gems fell into my branches. Then all of a sudden my fury overwhelmed me and I was lost in anger. The gem reached me when I was filled with sorrow. Our actions spoke our heart's desires, but we had no idea. Those gems twisted my anger into a force beyond my control. Have any of the saplings been transformed by those stones, Tret? No, only the Elder Trees were affected by the falling synergy stones. There are others that this has happened to? So the same thing could be happening elsewhere. You must have fought many monsters on your way here. Those monsters? Maybe they were just animals that were... Once they were pure of heart. <laughs> Those gems have brought a great evil to the world. Oh, Laurel, you were given powers too. Different from my own, but stemming from the same source. Laurel, what in the world are you doing? Wait, you will soon see. What did you see, Laurel? It's true. Even the animals have become monsters. And beyond the river. The river that feeds our forest? Yes, an evil forest has risen up to the south of the river. Will you be herding south across the river? I presume so, yeah. That area will only grow more dangerous as time passes. If you must go, you'd better hurry. 
I owe you a great debt. You have saved Kalima the forest and me. May your roots dig deep and your branches reach high. Uh, I'm not a tree. <laughs> but I appreciate the sentiment. Ah, now the music's sort of cheerier now. Less sort of relaxing, but... Dee -dee -dee. Ah, this makes me feel like a happy sort of person. It makes me feel as if the world isn't almost an impending doom. Oh crap, wait. What's going on up here? Oh, okay, you can't reach that without the logs. I was going to say, I was like, oh, so that log pushing puzzle isn't completely unnecessary then. Um, alright. Well, let's head back out of the forest and see what's going on in Kalima, because I believe there might be a djinn for us there if we're good about it. And then, if there is, I'll either fight it or collect it, and then I think I'll end this part, because I've been recording for about 20 minutes now. Uh, and it's done that thing... I'm just going to keep talking. I've done that thing where it splits into two files, um, and that generally causes some problems. So, you know, might as well just end the video before it all goes horribly wrong, hopefully. But there's no guarantees it won't. So just the Golden Sun is one of the trickier ones. It loves to desync. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, but in any case, let's just keep on moving on, and hopefully get out of here relatively quickly. And if not, then... Ah, uh, Wishing Tret has really destroyed my throat. Ah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, moving on, let's hope we can just leave before anything too terrible happens. And I can collect my reward! I don't know if I really have a reward to get other than a gin. Now, okay, it was over here, wasn't it? There we go, Kalima, hello! We rely on the forest so much, and yet we hurt the sacred tree. Maybe we can work in harmony or something. Work to restore harmony in the forest now. You know, being a tree gives you a lot of time to think. Okay, I'll believe you. See, that's the djinn I want, but I don't quite know how to get to him. Will you tell me, old man? Don't blame the villagers for being tempted by McCoy's money. Anyone would be tempted by such a staggering sum. Are you trying to justify being a greedy bastard? You saved Kalima? Wow! That makes me want to tell you a secret! But I'm not gonna. It's too good to give away. Oh, is that so? Well, let's see what your mind has to say about that. It's hidden deep in the forest, but I can't tell him that! Oh, that's nice and, you know, not vague at all, isn't it? Ugh. Daddy told me a secret. Oh, did he now? Let's mind read you, then. Still, telling me it's outside the village doesn't help much. Ugh. My husband seems to be keeping a secret from me. Do you know any parts of it that might help? I think he found something valuable, but where could he be hiding it? Well, it's in the forest, apparently, but that's really, really vague. I turned into a tree right when the sparkles fell from the sky. We know. <sighs> Trees are so sleepy. If you say so, kid. I didn't mind being a tree. I would have never tasted so good. <laughs> well, we'll try to use the tree to head Yes, that's a good question. Welcome, weary wanderers. What aid do you seek? I seek no aid. For now, I seek a way to get to that bloody gin. Urgh. Um, like the secret to get to the gin isn't in the forest, is it? That's not what that guy was talking about. Better not be, or I'm gonna have to kill somebody. You, tell me how to get to that gin. This is Kalima, village of lumberjacks. I'll shout it out loud. This is Kalima. Good to know. No more work here. Can even go back to being quite little village. Quiet little village. They say that McCoy halted construction of the palace. But no more work, or the lumberjacks that came to make money will leave. Well, that's fine. All I know is I want the gin. Genie, even I don't know. Just give him to me. You tell me how to get him. I'm only a merchant, but I got turned into a tree just for staying here. I think I'll head to Xi'an, south of the river, now that I'm a man again. Okay, good. But. Uh, I get the feeling I'm just being really dense and maybe I should be mind reading people more. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try mind reading the old man who's standing by the house next to it. Like, I'd have thought maybe the people inside were gonna tell me the secret, but no. I've been poor all my life. That's why it bothers me that McCoy thinks money can solve everything. Stupid McCoy. Who does he think he is? Right. I think I'm being kinda stupid here. There's probably something ridiculously obvious to get to that gen. I mean, I know it. It's got to involve that little hole there, so you've got to climb up, but 
where do we climb down? <laughs> That's my question. Can you provide us with a trapdoor? When I was a tree, I learned to appreciate the sun. Wouldn't you have been trapped inside, though? Just saying. Uh, ooh, sacred feathers. Ah, that's cool. But I don't really want one of those. Or oh, artifacts. Dang it, no artifacts for me. Um, hmm. All right, let's just mind read everybody in town. Let's maybe not. That's probably a terrible idea. Well, can you maybe tell me? If it's not her, then I'm just gonna give up. Yeah, screw it. I don't even want that gin anyway. No, I am gonna collect that gin, but... I still wish I knew what that guy was on about when he said his secret is in the forest, because... I mean... Where? There's, like, everything is the forest around here. Goodness sake. Okay. Um... I'm not sure quite why I'm going down here. Not exactly going to provide me with very much now, is it? Um, well... Bleh. I know I said I was going to get the gin before the end of the part, but I just think I can't. Nice clipping there. Uh, so, in the next part, I suppose we're going to try and find our way to that evil forest we heard so much about. I might look up how to get to that gin off screen, just because it's bamboozling me. So, with that in mind, I shall see you guys in the next part for more fun and games. I'll see you guys then. Uh, the next part will be up later today, hopefully. Um, and yeah, that should will be good. I shall see you guys then. Goodbye.